Right then guys, just got back from a quick trip to the woods, bagged another pigeon with my wire rack HW95. I'll be doing a review video on this real soon, my hawk scope. But yeah, bagged another pigeon, took a nice heart and lung shot on this one. Really nice meat here, gonna get this breasted up in the fridge. But yeah, sort of update you guys. Gonna be doing a lot more air rifle videos now on my channel. But yeah, just had a quick trip to the woods, only out for about 10-15 minutes. Managed to bag myself a lovely wood pigeon. So this pigeon is not going to waste guys, can have this guy breasted up and I'll show you that after it's in the fridge, breasted up. So yeah, another one for the wire. Mention, this pigeon was taken with the H&N field target trophies in 2-2 calibre, lovely heart and lung shot on this pigeon, I love myself some pigeon meat, so I'm going to get this one breasted up, I've also been loving my wire rack HW95 as well, like I said, another review coming real soon of this gun and also a review of my hawk scope, stay tuned guys. Hey guys. So I've just been using a really sharp kitchen knife really sharp knife is very vital for this because you've got to make precise cuts along the breastbone of the pigeon so I just plucked him got my feathers in this bag make sure you put them in a the bag guys don't want them blowing all around got a couple on the floor that I'll pick up later and put it back into this bag so I just cut the skin away then obviously with the knife and expose the nice meat just wanted to show you that I wasn't wasting it I don't waste any of my kills guys I eat everything I kill except for rats and corvids as they're dirty they're both scavengers uh, so I don't eat them. Everything else I kill, I do eat. I love pigeon meat. It's one of my favourite meats. Probably my favourite, second favourite. Rabbit being my favourite. So yeah, sharp knife to make the precise cuts on the breastbone. So I'll just show you it wasn't being wasted. So if Jeez, anyone guys. thinks that wood pigeons are dirty birds, as you can see, this diet consists of seeds and berries. Right then, guys. So here's the meat. Some fresh wood pigeon meat. Rinsed off into some cold water. Make sure it's cold water, guys. Don't be using hot water on raw meat. Put this on a plate. I'm going to wrap it with some cling film and put it in the fridge so I can enjoy this as a snack a little bit later on. But um, let's just have a quick run through of the gear. Like I said, taken with my Wire Rack HW95 with the HN Field Target Trophy pellets, 14.66 grain. And my Hawk 4 to 16 by 50 scope. Really nice scope, guys. I uh, love this gun as well. I think it's in the beech wood. I'm pretty sure this is beech. Uh, really nice wood, nicely dark and stained to it. Nice golden record trigger, adjustable as well. Uh, two stage as well. Lovely gun, love Wirex guys. Definitely the best springers on the market. Um, and also the HW100, which my grampy has, is a lovely gun as well, the PCP. Lovely gun, my grampy has it in laminate. So yeah, many more videos coming soon guys of air rifles. Would have had to change my channel name as you guys can see. Because um, I'm mainly focusing on air rifles now and not too much about catapults. I'm doing a few videos on slingshots here and there. I've got a few reviews to do, but mainly going to be around air rifles now, guys. So, yeah, I've got a review coming of the HW95 and of the Hawk 4 to 16 by 50 scope. Uh, this is a 4 to 16, obviously. Got just a 4, 50 millimeter um, objective. Uh, I've got the windage, the, the height, and the windage elevation, and then obviously the AOIR, so it's illuminated reticle. An adjustable objective, got the uh, parallax, adjustable parallax at the front, also works like a little bit of a rangefinder, so when it gets clearer at that range when you're twisting, you know it's 20 or 30 or 35, you know, 50 yards, so yeah, really loving this gun. So cheers guys, thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed, remember to smash that like, I'm going to enjoy this later on guys, but thank you so much for watching, remember to subscribe, cheers guys.